This is going to be pretty cool. We're helping Bill shoot his intro for Goldberg's Garage and maybe shoot his, like, the first kind of scripted video for it, too, while we're here. He's asked Brandon and I to come out and help him with all this stuff. So we got our videographer, Handsome, and a couple other dudes helping us out. And we're going to, we're going to kill this video. It's going to be badass. Also, check out Goldberg's Garage. Update. I love the T-Rex uh, a million times more than the Raptor. The Hellcat engine in it is pretty freaking dope, as, as there's a Raptor in front of me right now. My buddy Art, who was a mechanic and he was in the Air Force, he worked on airplanes, and he's pretty much a jack of all trades, has been working on that Bronco, that the 77 Bronco that I got a couple of months ago, probably about, God, that's almost a year ago now, huh? Got it for Heather. By the way, Heather and I have been together for almost two years in August. Yeah, I got her that 77 Bronco. Art's been working on it. It's fully done now. I think I'm going to go pick it up and I'm going to take it to the car show slash block party in downtown Bernie that's directly in front of the skate shop. Heather's recording uh, Bitter Barista for the 4th of July with Caleb and Handsome and a bunch of our other friends right now. I am free today. John didn't want to come out. He said he's kind of sore and sunburned and stuff, and it's okay. He can stay home during the summer and play games like I used to. Dude, thank you so much for the work that you've been doing. Oh, yeah. You're amazing. You're amazing. We're going to take her on down to the car show. Look at this pretty girl. I don't know if Heather's named it yet. Well, I was going to be in the car show. It's uh, probably a quarter mile that way. The uh, radiator blew up, and there was cooling everywhere, but a nice man towed me out of the street. Uh. <laughs> Art showed up, we put some more antifreeze in it, and it cranked right up, so that was weird. You said there's a bubble in there? Yeah, I think when they let it out, they just didn't do it properly, you know? Okay. He's trying to fuck you off, you can't let her. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, it's working. I think uh, we're too late for the car show now. About 30 minutes too late, so we're gonna take her over to Demolition Ranch's place and leave it there for a little bit. The Bronco is resting nicely at Demo's garage. He invited us up for some burgers. We hung out with him. The mac and cheese, and I already made mayonnaise and corn last night. The elotes are in there. We're gonna go to JT's and ride pit bikes and have a great 4th of July. I swear to Christ, if Brandon doesn't start wearing shoes and a helmet on his motorcycle, I feel like a dad, an angry dad, every time I see him do this shit. I swear to God, Brandon, I'll suck your, I mean, punch you in the dick. Oh, she's about to get painted. She's coming together. Got the paint, got the tape going up. Everything's going to be pretty badass. So, <laughs> these stupid pieces of plywood with the cloth on it, they're industrial glued to the plywood. And the last person that hung them up, what they did is they took a screw to hang them up and they went every half inch with like nine screws until they found the stud instead of just using a stud finder in the first place. So we had to take like 70 screws out of each one of these stupid things. I have never had a vehicle I love so much. I might actually like this more than the Hellcat. Bill Jail's getting a new roof it looks like. I still haven't been in there. I wanna go check that out sometime. Wait, no, that's not the jail. The jail's beside it. That's the jail, the little building to the right of it. Still has a sign on it from back in the day that says Sheriff's Office. That's cool. We need more of these 27 boutiques. Like this used to be boutique. We need more of these 27 boutiques in downtown Bernie to go out of business so we can put cool businesses there. I don't know if I've told you guys our theory yet, which is probably true, is what happens is that some of these rich old dudes here in Bernie get tired of their wives in the house and they wanna go off and fuck their mistresses. So what they do is they buy their wife a boutique in downtown Bernie. And I'm not kidding when, when I say there's 27 boutiques. And I probably talk about this a lot on this channel, but. I need them to go out of business so we can put cool things there. I need a pickle shop, a sandwich shop, a hot dog shop. Oh, I didn't show you guys the interior yet. Check this out. It's got like that red blended leather. That's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> when I went to Home Depot today to buy a mailbox for the skate shop, I picked up some locks. I've been watching way too much lock picking lawyer and uh, McNally official. Please watch McNally official. That dude is amazing. Also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm kind of retarded. I, uh, 
bought a six instead of a seven at my own shop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of you guys were commenting in my last video, what, your camera got stolen, your truck got broken into again? Yeah, it did. And I know you're not supposed to leave valuables in your car. I've learned that the hard way. But I was literally sitting right next to my truck. So Brandon and I, we were sitting at one of our favorite brunch spots, and the truck was literally 40 yards away from me. My mom was in town, and I, was, I just happened to be facing her away from my truck. I usually sit facing it so I can see it. These dudes pulled up, jumped out, cracked the window, reached in, grabbed my backpack and grabbed my mom's purse and I turned around right at the, about the right about the time they were coming out of my truck with my backpack. So me and Brandon, we hop the fence at, at our brunch place and we run over. I pull my gun and I point it at the dude who is jumping into the car because he's got a getaway driver and I start yelling, stop, stop, stop. But you know, they probably saw me pointing a pistol in their face and I was I was just about to get to the back of their car and they took off and can't really shoot someone for stealing your backpack, even though I really want to. It's not the first time I pointed my gun at someone and not pulled the trigger. By God, if it was legal, I would have killed both of them. My property is worth more than your life when you decide to take it, and I'll never stop saying that. It's a very controversial thing to say on Twitter, apparently, too. And I don't care about the property that much. Yeah, it was expensive. They got my laptop. They got my, my vlog camera. I can, I can buy new things, but I had a cookbook in there that I'd been working on for four years, handwritten for my son. In the end, I shouldn't have left valuable things in my car, even if it's 40 feet away. San Antonio is brutal for property crime. You know, I don't leave anything valuable in anymore except for that one day, because I was like, I'm right next to it. No one's gonna break into it with me sitting here right next to it. I'll see him doing it. I finished just now in the bathroom. Oh, what? Well. <laughs> hey, Heather, can you get some? If they have a fresh front of a pair of pants in there, I could use them. <laughs> I found Danny. Matt's not here, but if I was to steal one thing from his vault, what, oh, what would it be? Hmm. Hmm. It's one of the NFA items here. Pretty sure that's fully automatic. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know why I thought about the Tech 9 there for a second. All right. It's gonna be something that fit down my pants, though. Hmm. Will that fit down my pants? Oh God, Danny has a box of liquor. No, what's your new box? I, really um, I am the okayest ranger I know. I forgot who made me this, but uh, thanks for trolling the shit out of me. What? Is that your dog? I hold up, see. She doesn't jump off the bat. And you make a TikTok account and you just argue with the police officer. What are their names? Yeah, they both did it at the same time. Wait, they were doing it while they were running. Yeah. It's because they just had a bunch of watermelon. It's better than that. You're letting us down. Oh, oh my God. God. Come over to JT's for a little bit. Old Spencer Barton is in town. You might recognize that name if you're big into skateboarding. But uh, if you're not, check out his YouTube channel, his Instagram. He's about to come back around right here. He does some amazing, amazing VFX work combined with his professional skateboarding. So Spencer Barton. Oh, Snake farmers. Honey, honey. What? Oh, she's so happy. She's so happy. Oh, yeah. Now I'm hard. Yeah. <laughs> Even on a flat tire. Even with uh, not moving at all. There's my baby. Bye, sweetheart. I'm going to take her to the skate shop and probably leave her there. <laughs> 